Hey guys, Kid Resell here, back at you with another Wet Sold video. This is for some week of 2024. I'm not sure what week it is at this point. I've been skipping weeks here and there. Like I said at the end of the last video, unfortunately my grandma did pass away. Um, I think it was like two or three days ago uh, when I'm filming this. This is Monday, March, whatever today is. <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Um, but it'll probably be two weeks before this video comes out. But I just wanted to show y'all some solds uh, and then also dedicate this video to my grandma uh, she always collected a lot of stuff back whenever we used to go up there to north carolina we'd always go to like flea markets and stuff like that and she liked collecting roosters and other stuff so hopefully i'll be able to get a couple of those items to just have at my house to remember her by because she has a ton I, I don't want all of them um but i'll probably keep a couple of them just for keepsake whiffer the dog this little guy sold for like 15 plus shipping i think i got him at the goodwill bins uh, the Spider-Man sold for like seven plus shipping. It's an Amazon return, so it's free to me at this point. I already accounted for it on the Amazon spreadsheet. Next up, this Fire Stick. Amazon Fire Stick sold for like thirteen plus shipping. It still has the uh, seal, the little seal around the that thing. Next up, this Barbie chair. This got returned, um, and then the person left neutral feedback because they said it didn't fit their Barbie house. I don't know how it's my fault. I got the neutral feedback removed because it was literally a product review saying it doesn't fit their Barbie dream house. This said what year it was for, and they probably bought it for a different year and hoped it would fit. But it sold for like 15 plus shipping, I think, something like that. It's a replacement piece. Uh, this sold on Amazon. Michael Card CD sold for like $25 plus shipping. Pretty good sale for a CD. I uh, paid a dollar for this at a thrift store. It is new and sealed. Two Mercari sales. Mercari's still been super slow, and since I'm about to put my store back on vacation mode, who knows if it's going to work again or not. So my strategy now for Mercari, once I have time to actually do it, because I, I knew my grandma wasn't doing well, so I didn't want to go ahead and activate everything, activate some, and then have to shut my store down again, which I knew I was going to have to do, because I knew the funeral you know, was going to be coming up, because she was, you know, like I said, not doing well. So I decided not to go ahead and do everything on Mercari, but I did have two sales. These are all ones that were recently listed. This Jelly Cat Blue Bunny sold for $21 on Mercari. And then the best sale, this uh, Twilight Princess HD Zelda. Sold for $102. I got this uh, right before I left to go to Peaches to Beaches. I went to a consignment sale and they had this. I paid. I got this and uh, Wind Waker, I think, HD, which was actually still sealed, surprisingly. I didn't know that when I bought it. For $30. So $30 into it, but it sold for $102. i will take that any day. And that's it for sales to start out the video. So these are the three sales before I leave to go up to North Carolina for my grandma's funeral. This was a pretty good sale, actually. This Yankees jacket i guess it's by jh i'm not sure what exactly that who that stands for some reason i want to say john henry but i have no idea this is sold for like 85 plus shipping uh sold some handcuffs smith and wesson with no key these sold for like 12 bucks plus shipping so decent sale there for something to come out of a storage unit another storage unit sale this uh swarovski for the lee brooch i guess you can call it you can always see swarovski based on i don't know if you're able to see it here but there's always like a duck i think it is and that, that's usually the identifier. It's right there on the bottom of it, I think. But uh, yeah, this sold for like $15 plus shipping. Not much money, obviously, but uh, sold on Poshmark actually for $15 plus shipping. And that's it for sales before I leave. So thanks to everyone that gave condolences for the loss of my grandma. I might throw a picture or two up of her and me in the past, obviously. Um, it was a very good service. Very well done. My aunt did a beautiful job. And uh, my cousin also gave an amazing speech at the service so yeah let's move on to the sales while i was gone uh, first up these transformers there's tiny little transformers um, it's like little guys like this and then it has little figures that sit in them um, these i was going through an old bag of stuff and uh they sold for i think 36 dollars on mercari the first mercari sale i've had with the new silly service fees i don't know if y'all I've, I was out of the loop on that in terms of informing y'all. Um, I was obviously seeing that as it was going, but to me, it's not a good thing. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it's a good thing, no fees. In my opinion, the fees are going to be passed along to us either way. The buyer is going to want the thing for cheaper. And also, if a buyer sees they're going to be in charge like $14 in fees, they're not going to want to buy the item. So to me, it's not a good thing. I don't know what Mercari was thinking doing that. I'm fine with paying the fees and you know, whatever is fine the way it was. Uh, it's the same with the whole, you have to pay $2 to get your money out. That's, that's the dumbest thing ever. I mean, I know it's, if you're getting $200 out, it's not that big of a deal, but it's still, it's still stupid for me to have to pay 
to get my money out. This ink sold for, I think it sold for like $20. This Toys R Us Fox, I don't know where I got him from, but he sold for $15. Mike the Tiger mascot golf club cover sold for like $20. A Dooney and Burke purse, probably free to me from my mom, sold for $45. This came out of a storage unit, Delta Sigma Theta purse, sold for $50. A suit from a storage unit sold. Vinci is the brand V-I-N-C-I. I'm not going to show it to you all in that much detail, but it sold for, I think it sold for $42 plus shipping. Mirrorfield hat, pink hat. This came from that big hat buy I made like four years ago now. Sold for like $15. This also came from that same hat buy. These Yankees hats, three of them. These sold for $25, best offer of $25 plus ship. This little frog sold for like $10 plus shipping. Not much, but it's something. It's free to me at this point. L-A-N-A-R-D, Lenard. These three action figures sold for like $15. Kick and Hawk, he came from that consignment sale I just went to somewhat recently. He sold for, I think he sold for like $15 plus ship. Smooches, Beanie Boos, these two sold for, I think, $15 plus ship. They cost me like a dollar. This came out of one of the most recent storage units that I haven't actually made a video on yet, but I will soon. Murphy Robe. This thing sold for $50 plus shipping. It's a cool choir robe. This sold for like $15 as well. It's Chaps is the brand. It's just like a pullover. This fork <laughs> sold for $45. You ask why? Well, its brand is T-O-U-L-E, Tool. It's Old Master is the brand, is the uh, whatever you want to call it, and it's Sample. It is sterling silver. So that's why it sold for so much. One fork usually doesn't sell for that much, but whenever you got silver in it, it definitely does. And last but not least, I've had these probably longer than any other item that sold in this video. <laughs> these Penny Hardaway shoes, got them for I think 25 or $30, and they sold for $105, and they have to go to the authenticator. So yeah, not bad. I, paid, I think I paid 25 or 30 for those at a garage sale a long time ago. But yeah, that's it for this clip. Let's move on to the next cup. Hopefully all the sales will start flowing in as I'm off of vacation mode for hopefully a decently long while. Here are the sales for today. Not too many, but it's at least some. Uh, this Walmart bucket hat sold for like $16. Um, I think it came out of a storage unit. Can't remember for sure though, but the best sale is this little Espeon plush. This little one sold for, I think it sold for like $55 or $50. It's the Japanese edition and came with the tags. Uh, this came from a consignment sale, so it's got all the evolutions of Eevee on there. Really cool sale there. I think I paid like probably $10 for a bag of P Pokemon plush. Video games sold. Mortal Kombat Greatest Hits. This sold for like $12 plus shipping, I think. And then X-Men Legends sold for $10 plus shipping. Also sold a Fingerling for like $20 plus shipping. Gray the Elephant Fingerling. And then on Amazon, some Mentos Gum. Um, these sold for $25 for shipping. I paid $1.29 for, or I guess I paid like three bucks for all four and they sold for 25 plus shipping. Um, I was the only one that had the listing. I had it originally I had it listed for like $19 a couple months ago. So I looked up, I found these and I realized they hadn't sold yet and they're still good. They haven't expired yet. So I was looking and I saw, well, there's nobody, no listing. So I put it up at 25. It sold pretty fast. So I probably should put it a little bit higher, uh, because I was the only one that had it listed, but still not bad. And that's it for sales for today. Here are the pre-weekend sales. Got some decent sales going out. I think I got about six sales. Five on eBay, one on Mercari, and no other platform sales. These two Legends of Wrestling PlayStation 2 games sold for like $12 plus shipping. Um, I've had them for a while, just got around listing them. Another video game also sold. This PS3 game, Ultimate Alliance, sold for $32 on Mercari, the one Mercari sale. It's like Spider-Man, Wolverine, Thor, The Thing. So Captain America, Iron Man, just random different characters. This sold for 32 like I said. I finally sold some Betty Boop stuff. I've had these for a long time listed. July, August, and September. These are little calendar figures. It's used for like a... I don't know what, what you describe it as, but basically this... Whenever it's this month, you put this at the top of the thing. So I have the little board as well, but I wanted to sell these individually. Those sold for $50 plus shipping. Also have some other ones, uh, but I didn't have a full calendar, unfortunately. Peep After Easter sold for $20 free shipping. It does weigh under a pound, so it did ship first class or ground advantage. This black and white Disney Treasures Mickey 
if you can find Disney treasures in these little tins, they're usually in these silver looking tins, you should definitely pick them up. They're worth money for sure. This one sold for $27 plus shipping. And last but not least, this jacket right here came out of the recent storage unit that I just did, I think, in the video. Um, I did the video the same day, basically, as I got the storage unit, so I didn't know some of the stuff that's valuable, which is the downside of doing the storage unit. Of course, as the viewer, y'all probably don't really care that much, but you'd rather see some sales. Well, here's one. This camouflage jacket right here, it's a military issue jacket. Y'all saw the military stuff that I showed in that in that in those two bins. Well, this one right here sold for $93 plus shipping. It's an extreme cold, wet weather condition jacket. It's only an extra small, but still sold for $93. So that's a good sale for sure. So although sales are still pretty slow, um, hopefully they'll start ticking up as I continue to keep listing and not going on vacation mode. Let's see what's in store for the weekend sales. Here are the wet solds for the weekend. Start now with Balana and Desmond. They both sold for around $10 plus shipping. I think I paid like three bucks each for these at one point clearance down. This more Delta Sigma Theta stuff. This is like random pins and magnets and stuff. These sold for like 24, I think on Mercari. Poshmark had three or four sales going out. Cabbage Patch Doll. This sold for like 25 plus shipping. Also sold a Nike Jumpman shirt. This sold for, I think, 15 or something, not much. Rebel Mines jeans sold for like 15 as well. Those came out of storage units. Southern Jaguars storage unit as well. I think it was. Maybe it wasn't actually. Might have been at Goodwill. Um, I paid less than a dollar for it. Sold for $14 free shipping. Yorkie Family. This sold for like $40 plus shipping on eBay. One Amazon sale. Gonzo. I actually just recently decreased my Amazon store from the seller account which you know you pay $40 a month and you get you know basically if you sell more than 40 items you get all that for free so I'm selling less than 40 items a month now on Amazon so I decided to downgrade my plan to where I pay a dollar for every sale but that's cheaper for me because I'm not selling over $40 I mean over 40 items a month hopefully that made somewhat sense if you made it this far in the video <laughs> this turtle beach uh, headphones sold for $59 plus shipping I think I paid originally like 20 or 30 for those at the state sale, so it's not too great a profit, but it's still something. And then this Zenith helmet, it's not going, it's going to Texas, which is good because it cost it's gonna cost a decent amount of the ship. Uh the buyer did pay the shipping, but I don't remember what I put the shipping at. So for $45 plus shipping, it's a football helmet. It's got pretty good padding in here, so it looks pretty much new to me. I mean there are some scuffs on the outside, but the inside looks really good. So hopefully uh whoever is using it, it'll help protect them. <laughs> And that's it for this video, I think. Yeah, don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite sale for the video. This is like over two weeks, um, including my grandma's funeral. Thank y'all for all the prayers and condolences that y'all sent to our family. To our family. Um, if you saw it on Facebook, which I don't know if you... like, I, only post, I never posted on Instagram, but I posted it on Facebook because that's more personal than Instagram. <laughs> to me, at least most of my people on Facebook are people you know I've actually met in person, in theory. Unless they're YouTube people. But yeah, that's it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and subscribe. Thanks for watching.